Hello classy, classy people. How y'all doing? Wayne Bolden from your Speed King channel as always. If you're watching this video, do us a big favor. Help us by subscribing, ringing the bell, liking our videos, and of course commenting. My favorite part. And if you're going to be playing Golfstream, we have a tip sheet. 12 races. We'll pick the top three of our top three contenders uh, for 15 bucks. Please email us. We'll give you our tip sheet. SpeedKing24 at Yahoo.com. Well, race number five is the first greatest stake race and the last stake race that we have to do. We've done all seven of them for Saturday at Golfstream. And the fifth race is the La Priya, uh, Privata Stakes uh, for fillies and mares, four-year-olds and up, going a mile and a half for $150,000. Small field of nine, not bad at all. So let's get through these and then we can go and enjoy ourselves for sure. Fifth race over there at beautiful Gulfstream Park. Well, Sorrel, the number one horse, oh, this here is a very, very nice mare. She's only has 10 starts, three wins, two seconds, and two, uh, two thirds. And it's a five-year-old and uh, by Dunzel, very, very nicely bred. Christopher Clement is our trainer, got uh, IRAD or ERAD in the arms. And again, this is nothing to sneeze at. A very, very nice uh, mare here. Uh, coming off of a 29-day freshening, uh, exit a stake race right here at Gulfstream on the 31st of December, and it wasn't a bad race at all. Earned a decent speed figure, okay, and uh, I think the number one, Sherelle, will be very, very hard in here to beat, okay. Um, she was beaten by the uh, favorite in here, uh, number four, always shopping last time, but there's been a little weight shift. And uh, always shopping is 7 to 5, so there's not going to be any bargain there. She ended up running 7th that day, but I thought she had a difficult time on the outside with Paco Lopez on her. Now she has IRAD up, so I think she'll get a different type of ride for sure. So the number one, Shirelle, at 6 to 1 to me seems like a fair value play here. And I'm going to have this horse on my ticket for sure. The number two horse, well, Sister O'Toole. Oh, the old O'Toole horse, 12 starts, 2 wins, 4 seconds and 3 thirds. Mr. Motion is the uh, trainer of record. You do have Louis Saez in your arms. And I, I don't like Sister O'Toole here. The horse appears to be totally overmatched. Comes off the synthetic over there at Gulfstream and, of course, at Woodbine. So the number two, Sister O'Toole, we're going to throw off the ticket. We don't like this horse. Onyx. Well, the number three Onyx has 15 starts, three wins. No seconds, no thirds. Alvarado is our trainer of record. That is Doug O'Neill, Nami uh, uh, Peter Miller's assistant. Excuse me. And uh, Mr. Hernandez is in the arms. Again, Onyx, the number three, is 30 to one. The horse is by Dahl then. Uh, came out of the same stake race with Always Shopping and Sorrell, the number one, and got smoked. The speed figure is okay on the horse, but at 30 to 1, I think that's the way the horse should be at 30 to 1 in here, the number three Onyx, and we don't like her in this spot. Well, here's your morning line favorite at 7 to 5. There's not a man alive that can pay the mortgage on 7 to 5. That's old Harvey Pat. Well, always shopping, obviously, is a hard-hitting six-year-old mare by Awesome again. 21 starts, six uh, first, four seconds, and three-thirds. Todd Pletcher, once again. I mean, he's got horses in all of these stake races, of course, and they all look like contenders. So it wouldn't surprise me if Todd Pletcher has a huge day on Saturday. And it's no different with always shopping. The horse ran a beautiful stake race on December 31st. We talked about it. Won the race by a nose. Now coming off of a 29-day freshening. Tyler Baffione is in the orange. And I expect always shopping to be there, right there at the end. She's speedy. She has a, enough speed to place herself where she wants. Second or third or even first. So she's very tactical. So always shopping at 7 to 5. Supposed to be 7 to 5 in this, in this field, if you ask me. The number 4 is going to be really, really hard to beat in this spot for sure. The number five, Nice Casino, is a very, uh, Nye Casino 
is a very nice uh, mare in her own right. Five starts, eight, eight, uh, eight starts, three wins, one second. Okay, uh, Vaughn is our trainer of record. Kent DeSormo is in the orange. And I'm not sure if I like the five at all here. Uh, Niceno. I don't like this horse at all at 12 to 1. So we're going to throw the number five off the ticket. And here is an interesting horse, the number six, Beautiful Lover. Well, Beautiful Lover is only 7 to 2 in the morning line. I thought that was a little short. Providing what I see, she exits the same race that always shopping exit. She ran third that day. She tracked the uh, runners right around the track. She really didn't make a big move. Now the upside is that the horse uh, is trained by uh, Christopher Clement. Does have Joel Rosario on him. Last time Louis Saez is on him. Okay, I don't think there's much of a difference there uh, in riders. I think Joel's the best rider in the country, and I think Louis Saez is the second best rider. But again, the number uh, six horse is a nice horse, but seven to two appears to be an underlay in this field for me. I mean, if the horse was five or six or seven to one, maybe I could make a stronger case for her, but I mean, I, I'm not going to make that kind of case for a beautiful lover in this spot at seven to two. And um, I'm going to go ahead and throw her off the ticket. I mean, she's a nice enough horse. I just don't want her in this spot, particularly at 7 and 2. Well, Scar Scar Scaraba is um, the number 7 horse. 8 starts, 1 win, 3 seconds, and 1 third. Uh, Sisterson is our trainer of record. Uh, Jose Ortiz is in the arms on this horse. 15 to 1. I don't like the number 7 horse here at all. The horse appears to be totally overmatched. The speed figures are weak. And I'm going to throw her off the ticket. And the number 8 horse is Hungry Kitten. Well, of course, by Kitten's Joy. This is a very, very nice uh, mare. Has 13 starts and 3 wins. That's okay. Shook McGahee is our trainer of record. And Javier Castellano is doing the services. Once again, exits that same stake race with always shopping. Got beat up pretty bad. Ran fifth by three. And again, the horse is five to one on the morning line. That's not such an underlay. But she has already been beaten pretty soundly by uh, the number four uh, always shopping. So, again, I'm going to throw Hungry Kitten right off the ticket. And here is a horse that I have a little interest in. Uh, the number nine and last horse in the race, Honor Hop. 13 starts, two wins in four seconds. Again, playing bri uh, bridesmaid. Brian Lynch is our trainer. Leopard Rue is up. And I like this horse's races. I like this horse's speed figures. I mean, the horse has been away for 108 days, making their five-year-old debut. But I don't see why this horse couldn't step up and run a big, big race. I mean, she hasn't been in against state company at all, but her speed figures suggest that she should be able to run with these. And by the way, she's 8-1, to one, so you can always justify that when you're getting the price risk versus what? Reward. So it's all about win probability. I don't mind betting a horse with a 10 or 12% win probability if my odds are big. So I'll take a low win probability if my odds are big, and I'll take a low odds if my win probability is very, very high. So the number nine is a very, very interesting horse to me. Again, she's stepping up big time here. I like Brian Lynch as a trainer, and LaFaru can ride. So again, I like the number nine, Honor Hop. So in this here race, the very first stake race uh, at Gulfstream, race number five, always shopping, do have these dead to rights. I don't like uh, seven to five, but she does look like she should be a winner in this spot. And of course, you know, I like the number one Sorrell. That's right. That's Christopher Clement's horse. I like this horse a little bit in this spot too. At least uh, come running late. The horse closes a lot of ground uh, late. You won't see Sorrell, the number one, at all until the late running. So I'm going to go ahead and make Sorrell my number two pick. And of course, actually my number one pick, I'm going to go ahead and take her over uh, Always Shopping. It's going to be uh, number one for me, my top pick. And my second pick will be Always Shopping. And my third pick will be the nine horse down there, Honor Hop. So for me, it's going to be one, 
four, nine, in that order. So there you go. We have done all seven stake races over there at beautiful Gulfstream on Pegasus Day. And as always, if you want our tip sheet, please email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com and we'll get it over to you. All 12 races, our top three picks for Saturday down there at Gulfstream. So as always, see our disclaimer below, folks. And most of all, enjoy your Saturday. Enjoy your weekend. If you're here on the East Coast, watch out for that weather storm coming here. We're going to be hunkered down. We got enough stuff to keep us busy, of course, as always. So race five, what is it? Sorrel, number one. And our second pick, the horse to beat, of course, is always shopping. And our third pick will be the number nine. So it's one four nine for us, folks. Stay classy and enjoy. Remember, you can get a hold of me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. If I can help you with anything, I will be more than happy to do so. Stay classy. Enjoy yourself, folks.